Hello guys, welcome. Many of you guys have been asking about the Durametric tool I've started using. So I figured I'd take a few minutes and make a quick review of that. So let's start with the basics. What is it? It's a diagnostic tool. How much does it cost? $287 for the enthusiast version, which is what I have. What's included? Well, plastic case. A $10 cable, a sheet of paper, a warning, and nothing else. Now, at first, this seems like a massive ripoff, but what you've got to realize is you're really paying for the software that comes with this cable and not the cable itself. Well, I say comes with the cable. You actually have to download the software on the website. So, of course, the question you want to know is, is it worth it? Well, I've created a little flowchart here to kind of help you decide. Of course, it's a personal decision and fair disclosure, the cable only works on a PC. So if you don't have a PC laptop laying around, then it doesn't really matter. All right, let's go ahead and hook it up. It's pretty simple. You just plug it down into the OBD2 reader and then connect it to your laptop. Turn the car ignition to the on position or the start position. So with the car running or the ignition in the on position uh, and the cable connected to the USB port on a PC, a little green light should show up. That's when you know you're ready to go and you just launch the Durametric software, which you download. It only works with a cable from Durametric. There are a couple of cheap Chinese knockoffs. They don't work, don't bother with them. Starting up the software, you select your car, you select your year and options. And once you do that, you have access to pretty much all of the modules on your car. So on the 986, this includes the engine, of course, but it also includes the ABS, the instrument cluster, the airbag, alarm, electronic headlights, seats, park assist, the works. So this is kind of awesome because it's way more than what your OBD2 like standard code reader can do. And even more importantly, it's more accurate than the OBD2 reader. For those of you guys who followed the knock sensor saga, you know that I was able to read the knock sensor code using the Durametric cable, but couldn't read it using an OBD2 cable. And I know that was an actual fault because we found the wire that was chewed through back here. Uh, so that alone really made it worth it for me. But let's talk about some of the other things that you can do with this. So not only does it read error codes from the engine and from all the other systems in the car, it can also activate different systems. So for each of these things, you can jump into activations and you can hit start to start any system you want. So for example, when I replaced the fans on the front radiators, I went through a pretty elaborate testing process, but if I'd had this Durametric cable, all I had to do is go in here, find the fans, Hit start. And there you go. That's all there is to it. This works across the spectrum. Most of the systems that are tied into the ECU can be turned on and turned off with the Durametric cable. That is amazing when it comes to diagnostics because if you think something's not working, you just open up the software, hit start, see if it turns on. And it's not limited to just engine things. I can test uh, all the instrument cluster, the gauges. I can test the ignition switch and read the actual values from all of these things. So it's really an amazing tool. In addition to all of that, the Durametric software also logs actual values. What this means is that you can run your car, you can drive your car with this cable attached, and you can actually log and save data uh, on just about anything. So this means mass airflow values, O2 sensor values, 
RPMs, engine load, timing, you name it. And I've done a couple of videos with like octane and engine knock and that sort of thing. And I logged values and put some charts up on my blog. Uh, I'll include links to them in the description or the cards. Those values were logged using the software. So it's really awesome tool. You can actually see in real time what your car is doing, what each sensor is reading out. And you can save that all to a file and you can turn it into charts and you can look over it and really just totally geek out, which is awesome. So is it worth it? Yeah, absolutely. If you plan to dig deeper into your Porsche and do some troubleshooting and, and more advanced work, it's an amazing and very powerful tool. Highly recommended. Now I know what you're thinking and unfortunately Durametric did not pay me to say that. Um, I wish they had because then I would have more resources to make awesome videos. Um, but sadly, no, I am just doing this on my own because I figured you guys should probably know. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. As always, ask me questions. And really importantly, head over to my blog because I include screenshots of all the values and activations and error codes that you can pull up there. Way too much stuff for me to go over in a video. So if you really want to dig into the details and see what it can and can't do on my 986, the blog is the place. Look forward to seeing you around. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, you can subscribe and I will be back soon with more stuff about my Porsche. Thanks guys.